what's your zodiac sign? This is a question I'm sure every person in America has been asked at least once in their life. I know I have. People use it as a cheat code to understand your personality without actually getting to know you first. Now, how effective that is can be subject to debate, but I wanted to find out what martial arts training style would you do based on your zodiac sign? There's tons and tons of different people and different types of training and different ways people go about their training out there. So let's break down the 12 styles of the zodiac. What's up guys, it's the old Ninja Warrior Aviators and Super Roha, and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. This will be part one of the Zodiac series on my channel. So if you want to get part two, help me get this video to, you know, 10 likes. I, I, I would be happy with 10 likes. But yeah, with those YouTube details out of the way, let's get to our first Zodiac. First, let's start with Aries. As the first sign of the Zodiac, and Aries loves to be number one. This dynamic fire sign is no stranger to competition and thus thrives in it. They also dive headfirst into even the most challenging situations. Call it bold, maybe confident, ambitious, or even arrogant, but whatever the reason, they will come out on top no matter what. And so martial arts is definitely not for the faint of heart if you won't be backing down from any challenge ever. They're gonna wanna fight anyone and everyone they can so they can prove themselves to be the absolute best. And if they do end up losing, they're gonna spend all of their time training so that they'll be ready the next time. Some famous martial arts Aries include the great Anderson Silva, who is one of my personal favorite martial artists out there, Nate Diaz and Gilbert, Melendez. Taurus is the sign to take a six hour bath followed by a Swedish massage. This earth sign enjoys a relaxing and serene environment surrounded by soft sounds and soothing aromas. They are quite humble, patient, and persistent. Now at first glance, this may not sound like the standard for martial artists, but when it's time to get down to business, they will be the first to whip out their journal and plan out your detailed training plan so they can beat you. They know exactly what it takes to succeed and they won't stop until they get to their goals. Even if it means sacrificing their social life to do it. Some examples of awesome tourist martial artists include George St. Pierre, Carlos Condit, and light world, world champion Senya Aoki. Again, if I mispronounce that, I'm sorry. Gemini are beacons of business. They are spontaneous, playful, and driven by curiosity. This air sign is so interested in so many pursuits that it had to double itself to get it all done. Hence the celestial twins symbolized by this sign. And so as a martial artist, they have many different codes they can switch into. There's no doubt that they'll keep their training partners on their toes with their versatility. This can leave their opponents only guessing at what they're gonna do next. And to be honest, this is a fantastic trait to have as a fighter. And some famous Gemini fighters includes Chris Weidman, Matt Serra, and Quentin Rampage Jackson. Represented by the crab, cancers weave between the sea and shore seamlessly as a water sign. Basically, that's a fancy way of saying that they are equally emotional and material creatures. They are highly intuitive and willing to do whatever it takes to protect themselves physically and emotionally. Since they're so intuitive, they are always basing their actions on their gut feelings. And when they feel like the time is right, they will throw the technique and commit to it full force. This allows them to fight against drastically different opponents much easier when compared to other types of fighters. They also can switch modes really quickly. One minute they're intense and focused, and the next they're laughing and chilling with the rest of the team. Honestly, super fun to be around. Some famous cancer fighters include John Jones, Christian Lee, and the Walter Waite World champion Ben Askren. So tell me, are you one of these zodiac signs? And if you are, am I on to something or am I just completely off base? And if I haven't covered your zodiac sign yet, let me know what sign I should do next in part two. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on the next part of this zodiac series. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about what martial arts style you should train. Or this other one that you do think you will enjoy as well. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.